Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to the homestead. Mike and I are working up at the garden today, finishing up some fencing. Let's do it. A lot of you guys in our last video had the recommendation saying that this fence was not tall enough. Um, we didn't do a very good job explaining in our last video, we realized, but Mike and I do have the plan to put up two wires um, on this fence here, electrify it. So the two wires are going above the wood. That way it's tall enough and the like electrified fence is going to deter the deer even more than like a regular wood fence would. So that's on the list of things to do today as well. The first step that I think we have on this project is getting the T-post in the ground. We're gonna do one, two, three right where I'm standing and four back there, I believe. This is just gonna kind of be a temporary fence still. We have more plans to, uh, you know, make this fence back here a lot nicer, but we have just a little bit more fill that we want to get done before we put a real nice fence in. So uh, yeah, let's pound some T-posts. All right, guys, we got all the wires strung up on the far side and on this side. We'll talk about these heights in a little bit. Um, for now, I gotta go through and cut the tops of these poles. We went to the highest we could, which is about seven and a half feet off the ground right there. So we're gonna cut all the poles to that height. I think it'll make it look nice. Maybe we'll leave these ones just a hair taller by the gate. I think we'll do that. All right guys, next morning, back on the fence project and uh, let's get people caught up to speed of where we're at so we can get this thing wrapped up today. So yesterday, Liz and I went through and we got all of the wire strung up. So that now leaves us with one, two, three, four, five rows of, uh, let's call it like a deterrent for the deer. Obviously, this is not deer proof. You know, a fence has to actually be pretty legit to be deer proof. So what Liz and I are going for right now is uh, pretty deer resistant. Um, what we got going on is we actually have switched to these little thread in type of insulators for the wooden post much quicker than using the pin locks. Obviously, we haven't completely moved away from the pin locks because there are applications where it's way better to use the pin lock than it is to use uh, this thread in. But the thread in works really good. So we're stoked on that. So we got all the wires ran. We did two top ones on these taller posts. And then as you can see around the back here, we went with the T post and did two wires here as well. And like I said, guys, obviously not deer proof, just deer resistant. What we have going on here is this is a really steep bank that drops off right here. and. Uh, as you can see, it is extremely thick. So there's not many spots for the deer to even have access to this size. And I know it's a wild animal, anything could happen, but we're just kind of playing the odds. Liz and I don't have many deer here because, well, we think it's because of the dogs. You know, the dogs put out their scent all over this place. 
speaking of dogs, um, we think it's because of them that a lot of the deer stay away. Now up on the mountain, we have quite a few deer, but down here by the house, we really, there's probably been three times since we lived here that we've seen deer. So what is on the docket for today? We need to connect power from this side to this side. This is our charger right here. So what we're gonna do is put a board on the top of this, run it over there. On top of that board, we're gonna run an insulated wire connected to our hot wire, run it up, over, connect it to those wires over there. We have the wires over there jumped to that fence. Um, so yeah, we're getting close. All of the wires are hooked up and working. It looks like the next thing we have to do is build a gate. So we went back down, grabbed some of the same boards that we used to build the fence, actually these real long, like 16 footers. I think we're gonna build it in the shop, use the chop saw, nice flat surface, get this gate going. Okay, so this gate looks awesome. It swings perfectly. We opted for the swing in, kind of like that. Seems like every time we go to put a latch on a gate, we can't find it. So we need to find the latch. We have some ordered somewhere in the house. <laughs> so we have a temporary latch wire right latch. now. Wire latch, no big deal. It's right here. Temporary latch. So yeah, that looks great. Cats love it. Looking good. Looks like something like, hey, my corn. Ah, no. No. <laughs> All right, <laughs> what is she doing? Up there. Oh my gosh. Luckily the fence is not on. Got that project done. Yes, the fence is well on it, well on its way, at least this half of the fence, you know, everything is working and in order. So it should mm -hmm. keep all of our vegetables and flowers pretty well protected for now. Yeah, mostly protected. Obviously this is not like completely foolproof, but no. you know, it's mostly protected. I think we do have plans to maybe hang a piece of flagging tape on this wire so the deer can see a little bit more. And you yeah. know, even that flagging tape blowing should have a little effect on them. Um, yeah, yeah, it's nice it good. getting these projects done. That way we can just kind of, what is she doing? She's trying to get down yeah. over there. Yeah. She's got it. It's nice to be getting these projects done. That way we're kind of going into like just the maintenance stage of a lot of these projects. Um, you know, it'll be nice to enjoy the garden, 
when it's in full bloom, like in August, September. I know I'm super excited about that, but it just makes things a lot, look a lot more tidy and like put together up here, having the fence around the garden. Yeah, that's um, nice. So I like that a lot. And it serves a purpose. And it serves a purpose. Yeah, so, so hopefully we'll see about maybe this summer getting around to like doing all that dirt work over there one day and then we'll finish the garden fence. But for now, it is working just fine. Yeah, looks pretty good. We're stoked on this. And we're yeah. stoked on you guys watching this video. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing down to this new channel of ours. And if you want to see us talking about this project here in the next couple days, Freaking leave those down. questions below. Head over to Laidback Living and yep. we'll see you there. We appreciate you guys very much and we will see you in the next video. See you guys.